In this video, I want to show an example of changing colors using the where function from NumPy. And I think where is a little more complicated than the Boolean masking we were doing in the previous video, but I also think it's more powerful. And what we eventually do in this video, I think would be difficult to do using the Boolean masking. So let me show you some examples in an easier context of using np.where. Let me do np.where. Okay, then the first argument is going to be a Boolean mask like before. And then the next argument is going to be what should fill in the true positions. So let me say negative 20 as just some random number. And let me say 3 to fill in the false positions. So for example, everywhere that a is bigger than 5, we put a negative 20. And everywhere else, we put a 3. And so the flexibility of np.where comes from the fact that you can put not just a single number in the like true position slot or the false position slot. You can also put anything that can be broadcast up to the full shape. Okay, in this case, it's length 12. So for example, I could do A here. And so that is saying in the trues, keep whatever was in A. Okay, so we keep this 9, we keep this 10, and in the false positions, put a 3. Okay, or maybe it looks more interesting if I say 100 times A. So then that 9 got replaced by 900. On another example, I could say, so the full length is 12. I could do np.a range. And the only options here needs to be compatible in terms of broadcasting. So the only possibilities are length 1 and length 12. But let me do length of A. Okay, so where A was bigger than 5, we put 100 times that value. So 900 and 10 times 100, 1,000. And where A was not greater than 5, we put whatever the corresponding element is from this A range going from 0 up to 11. Okay, so we get this 1, 2, 3, and lastly we have this 10 in this position. Okay, so let's see how to do something similar using colors. And it gets a little complicated, so let me break it up into pieces. Let me use the same mask from the previous video, okay? And I'm going to name it as mask. So I think the only difference from the previous video in this part is that I'm naming it as mask. So I'm going to say ARR equals equals 12, 12, 12. So this is like finding the black pixels. And then I want to know, are all of them equal? So dot all and along the second axis. And so if I look at mask, I see mostly falses because that's just showing me sort of the extremes and the black pixels were in, in the middle. So if I show you what IMG looks like, hey, here are the black pixels that it's looking for. Okay, and so let's just see that already some problem shows up even if I try not to change anything. Let me do mask, ARR, ARR. And so the problem is these are not compatible in terms of broadcasting. And remember, you the way you check compatibility is you check the rightmost dimensions. And these are not compatible. They're compatible if they're equal or if one of them is 1. Okay, but here one of them is 2,000 and one of them is 3. So uh, let me reshape this mask. And there are a bunch of sophisticated ways to do this, but... This will already be a difficult video, so let me just do it in a basic way. I'm going to replace, reshape it to 2,000 by 2,000. And then you might expect 3, since we keep seeing that. But I only have 4 million total elements to work with. So there's no way using NumPy to replace that up to 3, like up to 12 million elements. Okay, so I'm going to put a 1 here, but that'll still be compatible. Okay, and then let's check. This time I do not think I will get an error. Okay, good. So let's continue. And so the ARR, I'm going to leave the same, this first one. And that's going to be the same as like saying, keep the black pixels. And the part I want to change is this next one okay, that says, what should we do for the non-black pixels? And what I'm going to do 
is I'm going to choose, there are 100 squares in this image, and I'm going to choose 100 random colors. So I'll use, um, I'll instantiate a random number generator, np.random.defaultrng. And then I'll get my 100 random colors in a 10 by 10 grid. So I'll do, let's call it colors equals rng.integers. I want to go 0 to 255, so I'll put 256 here, so that 255 is the biggest possible. And then I want the size to be 10 by 10 by 3. Okay, and then if I check the colors. Okay, so this is like the first row of colors. So the upper leftmost uh, square is going to get this color. Okay, great. And so let's replace this ARR with colors. And again, we get an error. And so what went wrong? Well, the rightmost dimensions are compatible. It's one, three, three. Those are all compatible. But then the next dimension, starting from the right, we have 10 and 2000, which are not compatible. So what we have to do is we have to stretch these colors so that like this, 182, 207, 208. Okay, that is supposed to be the color for this upper leftmost 200 by 200 square. So I need to repeat that 200 times. And so let me show you how we're going to do that. Let's see, maybe I'll do it here. Uh, yeah, I'll do, I'll do it here. So I'll ca call this how about y. And then I'll say dot repeat. I want to repeat 200 times. And I want to repeat, let's go first along the zeros axis. So that will stretch it vertically. And then we're going to repeat along the y axis. I'll repeat 200 axis equals 1 okay, along the columns axis. And so let's look at y. So notice how this one is getting repeated a bunch of times. So this is the top row. And if I check what is the shape of y, should be 2,000 by 2,000 by 3. Okay. It used to be, so uh, what was colors.shape? It used to be 10 by 10 by 3, and then I stretched it by a factor of 200 in the, along the zeroth dimension and the first dimension. Okay, great. And so let's try this, and it should work. Oh, and I replaced the wrong thing. ARR, I wanted to replace colors with Y. Okay, excellent. And now uh, we can almost turn this into an image. Only thing I need to do is I need to say what the type should be. So I can say np.unsigned integer 8. Hey, that is so pillow can turn it into colors. So here is this grid, this 10 by 10 grid of squares or 2,000 by 2,000 pixel grid of squares using, uh, using np.where. It changed the background colors into the random colors we made up above. Okay, that's where I'll end this series of videos on the pillow library or the pillow fork of the PIL library. Thank you for watching.